Frost Adamus uploaded a video about how his guild has uh, been killed due to the difficulty of Nexramus, I guess. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna watch that. And uh, someone sent me a like four minute long recording of a guild. It's like some random guild, like their guild imploding. And like the Discord was recorded, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that. Of course, it's gonna be funny. I think it's I think it's an Australian guild. Yeah, it has like forty thousand views or something. Let's watch Frostadamus's video first, and then we will watch this. Wow, classic guild disbands during Naxxramas angry Australians. So that's great. We're gonna watch that in a second. First off, Frostadamus's video, Naxxramas the guild breaker. Hey, can anyone tell me what happened? What happened to Peo's guild? Why did Pe what happened to Peo's guild? I've I was flipping through my WoW channels the other day, and Peo said that of o OFC disbanded. Why? What happened? I have no idea. I'm playing the video. Pause the music. All right, let's play this. Frost Adamus, what happened to your guild? Yes. Wait, maybe Frost was in that guild. Maybe this is the story of Peo's guild. I have no fucking idea. Anyway, Gray T Prime Gaming, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Frost here. Welcome back. <coughs> it's been a rough December for Classic WoW players, and it's been a rough December for myself, as my guild disbanded. Oh no. Guild that I've been playing since Molten Core. Oh no. Guild that we progressed through Blackwing Glare and AK40. It's vanished. Boom. Bye bye. What the and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one in this situation. Probably most of you lost their guild as I've seen a lot of people on the general chat looking for guilds or recruiting. Now, uh, guilds that manage to survive have an option to pick a lot of uh, core members. Is this still too quiet? Is this still too... Are you kidding, right? This is still too quiet for you? Hold up. It's still too quiet? What the, What's wrong with your ears, man? It's it's maxed out. I can't turn this up. Just just listen better, okay? I'll try to be quiet. But from other guilds, <clears throat> that will help them uh, clear Naxxramas, I guess. It's uh, second week of Naxxramas. I think this is the third week. It's midway. And a lot of people managed to clear Naxxramas. Uh, actually, more than I expected, to be honest. Turn it up in OBS? What are you talking about? Dude, okay. There. I turned it up 10%. There. There. Is, is this going to change everything? Um, and I think uh, at the fourth week, um, even more. A lot of people are being stuck right now at Saffiron and so Thanks. on. Shut the fuck up. I want to <laughs> get into a small rant of why this happened, why a lot of people uh, got disbanded and so on. So one of the first reasons I think why um, we had such a bad start for Nax, it's because Shadowlands was released one week prior to Nax Drama. True. It was dumb. Which, uh, made a lot of players from Classic uh, join the Shadowlands, get a bit addicted for for the expansion, and never really came back. And I, I cannot judge them. It's not their fault. I mean, you played Classic for almost two years, and uh, now you got a better game or something that you enjoy more, and you have no reason to come back. That's one of the reasons. I think Blizzard made a huge mistake. However, I think uh, Blizzard had to... Like, the, the thing is... It's not about which one's better or this or that. It's just like people are gonna play the most hyped version, right? That's what it is. People like whatever's new and hype. That's what it's. That's where people will go for at least a little while, right? So give it two months and things will level out. Like the world first race is going on. Shadowlands has been out for two or three weeks. People are just gonna play what's new. So give it some time. Um, I mean, in fact, like this. Th I just pulled this up. I I'd, I'd probably give it a month, right? Like this. So this blue line represents Shadowlands. This is when Shadowlands came out. This is the launch hype. This is classic WoW. And by the way, if we look at this for the past five years, <clears throat> this is Enjoy my Prime. This is classic WoW launch. This is Google Trends. This is classic WoW launch. This is Shadowlands launch. So if you want to type, talk about hype or this or that, like he's right. Classic WoW has been out for a year and a half. Of course, it's it's sort of like it's going to decline. It's the final phase. So. I, I don't know, like, you know, give Shadowlands month, another, another, let me put this on, uh, what was it on? 12 months. Give Shadowlands another month or month and a half. I would speculate they'll probably be, be about the same mark. That would be my guess. We'll see. I check this every couple days, so we'll see where this is at. But yeah, like, obviously Classic was at a, at a low point. It's because one, 
they dropped next Ramus and Shadowlands pretty much in the same week. And then two, it's final. It's the final phase. It's phase six. People are kind of tabbed out. They're going to play what's what's new, and Shadowlands is new. So it, it's totally to be expected. Release next Ramus <clears throat> early December because one of the reasons, which I believe, it's because they they tried to announce Burning Crusade, and uh, they couldn't postpone the next Ramas release for next year or for early January, late December because uh, they're planning to announce TBC in February at uh, BlizzCon. Now, um, uh, another reason why uh, people kind of quit, we lost like so many healers and you know Nexus requires a lot of healers. Another reason is the price of consumables. The price of consumables. You know why the price of consumables are so fucking exp Why it's so fucking high? It's all the goddamn botters inflating the economy. Yeah, by the way, a flask of supreme power. This is Fairlina. This is my server. 450, 500 gold. Okay? That's the fucking fact. Okay? It's true. Why am I up? Hey, two months. Why am I up? Because it's gamer hours. Because it's gamer time. And why are the prices up? Because of the bots. They go so crazy. They went. They Hi, Stabby. It so much. I think a flask right now on my server. I bought one last night for 400 gold. And keep in mind that you need like two or in some guilds even three uh, while you're progressing. Mm -hmm. So let's say you need two. That's 800 gold only in flasks. For one night. And you need to get the other consumables like elixirs, protection potions, oils, uh, food and so on. You can end up anyway, depending on your realm, from probably a thousand to two thousand gold per week, per raid, maybe. Mm -hmm. And that's something that not a lot of people can afford unless they buy gold with real life money, which I would never recommend. That's uh, but one of the third issues, which would very very right common classic, which is uh, real <clears throat> money trading. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but most. Probably most of you are aware. In uh, the first week of um, second week, was it? Happened a couple of days ago. Gresil got sold on Gehenna's for two hundred thousand gold on a gold bid DKP uh, so run. Three or three and a half and, thousand uh, dollars. You might ask yourself, how does some real life have value so much gold? Is it possible to even farm them? And the answer is yes, it's possible to farm them, but that would mean you would uh, have more than a full time. Atomic, hey. I think she's asleep, but hey, good morning. Good morning, dude. Continuous. Thank Another you. Another way to make that kind of gold, it's to probably use TSM and um, scan the auction house every day, spend hours and hours in front of the auction house for a whole year in order to make so much profit. So I think that Gressel um, was legit. I don't know. It doesn't. It does seem. Of course fishy. not. Keep in mind that the same guy purchased uh, other items uh, in previous runs and in the same run, I think, as well. Now, um, what does that mean? Does mean that <clears throat> Blizzard didn't fail to stop the botting issue, the old seller seller issue? Now, is this only a Blizzard's fault? No, it's our fault as well because we keep on buying that. Dude, P-Dog, thank not you. Myself, but the community. It's on buying gold and if this issue won't be addressed we will carry those problem on into tbc and if tbc it's not a fresh start from everyone starting from zero if people are able to carry the resources into tbc so will the gold sellers and so on so uh, there must be something done from blizzard blizzard must pay a bit more attention towards uh, the end of classic wow right now and towards uh burning crusade as we will carry those problem with us I don't know, like, okay, let's say Blizzard just straight up can't solve the RMT issue. They can't, they're, they can't or won't solve the bot issue. They just, it's, uh, it's, they just don't have the resources to do it. Okay, let's say that's the case. Would you be comfortable with Blizzard saying, listen, GDKP runs where people are selling services in-game for gold, boosting runs, Amani War Bears, you know, a run through a run through next Ramus or, you know, SSC to get the whatever gear you want. That's banned. No more GDKP. You can't do it. That's banned. If we catch you advertising that, you'll be banned. What, how would you feel about that if, if they can't solve the other aspects? Because it's like, if they can't solve the gold buying or the gold selling or the botting, 
So you can't stop like, uh, how can I put this? Like you can't stop the source. How does that gold manifest? It's GDKP. That's how it manifests. Doesn't make sense. So I mean, in TBC, here's the thing. How like consumes are one much easier to get. Two, you don't. There's not as many of them. So like the consume thing, you're not going to have like 500 gold flasks for like comparatively to for TBC. It's not going to happen, right? So how, how like what does gold get you in TBC? It gets you GDKP stuff. So I don't know. Like it's it's burning crusade. It would definitely limit it a lot. Uh, well, <clears throat> back to my guild. Um, I don't know, maybe you guys uh, <clears throat> let me know in the comments if you lost your guild as well. Uh, it wasn't only Naxxramas or an ability to progress in Naxxramas. We were a casual guild raiding early in the morning and weekends uh, on NA. Three hours every day, three hours Saturday, three hours Sunday. And after three hours, people had to la leave. As you know, uh, 20 people came prepared, 20 people didn't come prepared. And Naxxramas is not like Molten Core or uh, Blackwing Lair or AK-40 where you're able to carry like 10 people if they don't come prepared. Naxxramas, everyone has to be at their best in order to fully clear it. Uh, that was not only the reason. Uh, the reason is that uh, half of the people couldn't afford consumables. The second week, our guild bank dropped like 400 gold to every core member to purchase consumables. That was still not enough. Uh, 400 what? gold is almost nothing, like I said. A flask costs 400 gold. Uh, wow, fuck. It's 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 a bit sad because I raided with this guild for more than one year, and I really I, What's really, up, Gabby? I really thought that we were going to go to Burning Crusade together and play with the same same setup in Burning Crusade. Fortunately, it didn't happen. Um, if you wanna if you lose your guild and bad, you wanna keep trying to clear Naxxramas or even play until the end of Classic, get ready for TBC. Now it's a good chance to find a guild, as a lot of guilds... Um... Good. I already found a guild, uh, lucky enough for me raiding at the same uh, hours, same days, days. Actually, I'm going to raid today, I'm going to stream it on Twitch. It's going to be in a couple of hours after I release <coughs> this video. Um, it's um, 1 p.m. Eastern time. East Coast NA, I think. Anyway, um, what I'm trying to say is that you should be able to find a guild if yours get disbanded and um, probably be able to clear uh, Naxxramas as a lot of guilds did. Now, my new guild seems to have 13 out of 15 progress in my previous guild. Here's the problem. I'm going to link his video. Here's the... Because we're, we're landing on the flight path here. Here's the problem, dude. Like, Naxxramas is not... Naxxramas is not hard. It's just expensive. That's all. That's all. And so that's that. It's so it's so cost prohibitive for so many people. Like a lot of people just when a guild is that cost prohibitive, it breeds apathy and people just say fuck it. Like they just don't even want to fucking do it, right? And I I, I think you kind of can't even blame them. Let's watch this Australian video. Australians are the funniest people on earth. Is that true? Yeah, probably true. It probably is true. Next, Ramus. Uh, that's not it. This is it. Let's see what the deal is. This is probably... This is either going to be really funny or really depressing. It's either going to be really funny or really depressing. Uh, okay, first off... Has anyone watched this already? Hopefully there are no gamer words, right? Any gamer? Yeah, that's my first thought. Are there any gamer words? No? Okay. Thank you. Perfect. I'll link the video before we play this. Here we go. Let's play. Let me pause the music. Here we go. <clears throat> yes, no? Nah, no one's raid living, dude. Let's fucking call it. Let's get out. Yeah, I've spent like... Yep, no, call it. Fuck it. It's just crickets in here the whole night, so call like, it. You, you guys have got fucking a GM and officers, like, I yeah. don't understand there's, why there's, there's no, no raid leading going on tonight, so we're calling it. I'm fucking over it, just watching it. Fuck me. Fix your fucking... Fucking guild, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck up, Biggie. <laughs> You're one of the wish issues with the guild, mate. Cut! You don't even time. fucking talk! Shut the fuck up, you pisshead! Oh, uh, listen to ya. You fucking useless fucking retard! Listen to ya. He's listen at least talking. It starts, the, it starts at the, the fucking top of the pyramid, you fucking spastic. Shut the fuck up! No. He's not wrong. 
Australia Every fucking kind of grazed, you fucking moron. Shut the fuck up. Guys, oh, Australians, Australians are next Even level. Even their fucking officers say it. Shut the fuck up. We're calling it. I'm out anyway. Next level. Thanks, boys. Hi, right, boys. Thanks, guys. We'll try and actually sort this shit out before next raid. This is fucking retarded. Um, it's not all on healers or anything. But it's yeah. Maybe I should join an Australian guild for TBC. Imagine me in a fucking Australian guild for TBC. That would be sick. And Oceanic servers and US servers are the same region. I can transfer over there. That would be badass. That would be hilarious. It would be so super funny. Love you guys. But I, <laughs> I love you. Yeah, you're a real fucking mature cryptic. Go join fucking that other pisshand fucking uh, Citra. You fucking, uh, oh, fucking fuck wrong. Up, did he really just disband? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. You're, you're a fucking. I'm gonna come to McCoy. I'm gonna fucking fuck? belt the fuck out of you, cunt. You're a fucking moron. You're so dumb, mate. Are you fucking six? He's mad, dude. Uh, Damn. Fucking... Jesus Christ. <laughs> so how long? How long officers carried that shit? Fuck me. Yep. Happy birthday, dude. Yeah. Fucking 15, 16 months, <laughs> mate. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, go have a fucking brain aneurysm, cunt. Shut up. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jared, hey, good morning, dude. Hey, so who's, who's posting on Reddit? Can we all join yeah. Petition and raid? Hey, fuck yeah, log on I've still got Kamikaze active, let's go. <laughs> I was going to say, I've got a charter to sign, Still it's a boys. new guild called Delusional, if anyone's interested. Nah, let's that, petition it. It's uh, the Asian hacking guild. Don't have enough them. gold to repair? <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I'm, I'm in this raid and nobody's in a guild in this raid. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Just pug? They're geared as fuck as well. Yeah, wait, let's recruit them. <laughs> good thing we gave that fucking flood <laughs> that was a fucking uh, good decision there. <laughs> what a fucking <laughs> fucking We'll get him stuff. next week. Oh, I love this game, bro. Holy I fuck. That <laughs> good's classic. I don't want to get all the mats out of the back <laughs> of the time. <laughs> nah, both of those are still mine. I guess he did access. I guess he wasn't leading the uh, Discord, otherwise this would have disappeared as well. He owns it. Nah, it's what, it's too cool. now. No what happened? Gone. I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm actually really, really surprised, uh, and like, we vetted it before, we made sure there weren't any, but considering how much of a heated gamer moment this was, I'm surprised there were no gamer words. Like, this is exactly the type of, like, in-game World of Warcraft drama where you would expect gamer words to pop up. Not a one. Not a single one. Good for them. Good for them. Someone has some anger issues? Yeah, true. Uh, <laughs> imagine, imagine, like, this happened in three and a half minutes. Imagine you go AFK for four minutes, you come back, and you're like, wait, what the, wait, what the fuck? We just wiped on Patchwork. I had to go pee. What the fuck happened, man?